It's about the right amount though for a day. Yeah. It's hard to know how much to give them per day. Because it depends on how thick the grass is and how how tall it is. This is too tall. They don't like stuff like this. It's too tough. See how they've eaten around it. All this kind of stuff. Yeah. So these are uh, Dexter cattle. Irish Dexter, I think is what they're called. They are a visitor. <laughs> She's a little bit nervous. Thanks for telling me. So they're, they're a smaller breed and they, they're really dual purpose. They give for meat and for milk. They, they don't give as much meat as a, a beef breed like Angus or beef master or something like that but um and they don't give as much milk as a jersey or a holstein or a a, a guernsey it's so kind of a hybrid i think i've even read that people used to use it for oxygen mm. <coughs> so triple purpose Like oh, we have one huge Jersey. He's a castrated Jersey bull that we're gonna we're gonna be putting him in the freezer this fall. So stay tuned. We might do that ourselves, <laughs> or we might just take him somewhere. <laughs> I want to do it here. It's better. So this little, the little brown one, <coughs> the brown calf is gonna be our. Yeah, he'll be the herd bull. Yeah. I'm still thinking about trying to find someone that I can borrow a bull from this summer. Mm -hmm. So that they'll have calves next summer. Mm -hmm. The way it'll be two springs before we'll have calves again. <coughs> Maybe. You know, you never know for the bull if they're any good or not. I guess. I know my brother in law's talked about having a bull that was sterile. Mm hmm. She's very curious. That's what they were doing yesterday when I had the camera out. <clears throat> well, let's see if they'll, they'll follow directions today. a little intimidating I know he looks like he's sizing you up a little bit and backing up and <clears throat> this one's my favorite this red one right here her name's Shirley that's my cow right there I'm 
I'll get on the safe side. Yeah. I need to mow behind it. Because of this kind of stuff. It might be too late. See all this. It's probably too late. This is all those little plants that, that nothing likes. Mm. I'm hoping once I can get in a routine, I can move them faster and in a smaller area and they'll eat everything before it goes to seed. Mm -hmm. So I might not mow, I might just let it go. I was hoping the chickens would eat some of that, but they don't like it either. Look at how they worn it out here, coming through the water. Mm -hmm. Problem? So I got feed. The only one in there. See it over like that. <laughs> I had a hundred gallon and I almost got that. What is this one? I can barely pick this up. <laughs> 